Singing your native tongue, I could get you a recording contract, you know. <laughs> I know you love it, Mike. <laughs> well, it keeps me awake, and after six hours of sand, that's some trick. <laughs> What's this one about? It's an old tribal song about a young boy sent into the jungle to prove his manhood by killing a ferocious lion. And on the way, when he meets the lion face to face, he takes pity on the animal, and he can't do it. What happens? Well, the lion eats him alive. <laughs> You're too much, Franklin. How old is that story? I'd say about 30 seconds now. Yeah, I figured. Mason, Tango 4. Mason, Tango 4. Over. Tango 4 back. State your position. Over. I am opposed to all governments. Suggest you state your position as requested. This is a red alert. Uh-oh. A Roger. Tango 4, position 264 at 634, heading 9-0. Position understood. Mike, this is Ian. There's an airborne intruder somewhere north of you. Can you be more specific? Not at the moment. That's what I love about you, Ian. Pinpoint accuracy. I suggest you start heading north. I'll get back to you as soon as I have something. Tango 4 out. Well, you heard the man, Franklin. North. Well, north covers a lot of territory. Wake me up when you get ice on the wings. <laughs> Are you sure it's not one of our own choppers? It's a light aircraft, sir. Flying nice and low, too. Speed about 120. 
flying approximately 50 feet above the sand. Mr. Webb, head of company security. I'm sorry, sir. No one mentioned you were paying us a visit. No one knows. Never. His speed's dropping, sir. Less than 100 now. Morning, Ian. Hope you don't mind my daughter. How can I possibly mind anyone as beautiful as Claire? You just made getting up this hour very worthwhile. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. Anything new on that aircraft? Oh, we're thanking the summer in this sector there. Sounds like he's going to attempt a landing. No mayday signal? Uh, tried every channel. Nothing. His radio could be out. Well, that's a possibility. Then there's another possibility, Mr. Nelson. Much more likely one, diamonds. I picked up your red alert call to Tango 4 on my car radio. Well, this is a surprise, but always pleasant to see you. Uh, my daughter, Claire, uh, came to visit me for a few days. Uh, Mr. Webb is head of company security for all of Europe and Africa. It's quite impressive. Sometimes I get carried away with it myself. Mr. Nelson, I don't remember Miss... Or is it Ms? It depends on the man. Yes. I don't remember Miss Chambers having clearance to enter the building. Officially, no. Oh, is there another kind? Perhaps one that I'm not no, familiar just with? just one moment, Mr. Webb, if an administrator's own daughter. I wouldn't care if she was your whole family, roll up into one. STC goes to a lot of expense and a lot of trouble to protect its property. The company security system, Mr. Chambers, is known to very few, and I intend to keep it that way. Is that understood, Mr. Chambers? I'll see you back at the bungalow. I'm sorry. Gentlemen, I have a feeling there'll be some changes made around here. Plane's coming in for a landing. A little place from about 16 miles northeast of Tango 4. If he's not careful, he'll bend one of our ground phone areas. Relax. Five or ten minutes. Just about enough to stretch your legs. Or my neck. They're walking away from the plane. Is there a chopper on alert? Yes, sir. Have the chopper destroy the plane. The word is just somebody in trouble. Base to Skyman 3. Base to Skyman 3. Over. Skyman 3. Go ahead. Find a destroy light aircraft, map reference 267 at 6990. Over. Alert Tango 4. Have a helicopter standing by. Base to Tango 4. Base to Tango 4. Over. Yes, trip. Ah, but a man who's going to be rich, you don't seem too happy about it. I'll believe it when I buy my first Rolls Royce. I told you there's nothing to worry about. But this hour will be in and out before they realize. Three years prospecting for the Diamond Corporation. You learn the do's and the don'ts. Don't try anything funny inside the mines, but do stock up a few samples for when you get out. Why didn't you stick them in your pocket when you left? Ah, uh, with the going over they give you, I couldn't have got away with it if I stuck them up my ass.
they haven't seen us. What the hell do we do now? Walk. Walk? It's 70 miles. We'll make it. Come on now. Before a patrol shows up. Chopper spotted two men, both armed. Their planes still burn. Uh, Roger, base, we can see this now. Perfect. I thought you said they hadn't seen us. It'll be so easy. Well, are you coming or not? Whoa. Well, that's Pop Keller, one of our geologists. I don't know who the other clown is. Let's go get him. Okay, Bass. Stop calling me Bass. Give it up, Jubber. It's no use. You know you can't get away. It's just a matter of time. No use killing anybody else and getting yourself killed. He's right. We haven't got a chance. Uh, I'm going to give myself up. If you're going to stay right there. Come on out, Keller. If I have to come and get you now, you're dead. Right ahead, bottom of the dunes. Looks like Bradley's got one of them. Finish the job. You're a fool, Keller. Goddamn fool. you tell that to your driver, or the two men in the helicopter. Half a million dollars, Mr. Chambers? Yes. 
And that's only scratching the surface. We got them back, Mr. Webb, which certainly speaks for Ian's security. In fact, even the native labor has stopped trying to smuggle out stones. That gentleman is your problem. If you're complaining because no one's stealing. No, 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 I'm not complaining. I'm just stating a fact. You see, wherever diamonds are mined, the temptation to keep one is inevitable. That's the psychological norm. It's when they stop. That's when I begin to worry. Our records are open to... I don't give a damn about your records, Mr. Chambers. Just human nature. For the first time in the history of our company, now one laborer has attempted to take a stone. To me, that means something. That means that they didn't have to. That means that maybe there's a buyer right here in this compound who just keeps buying these stones before they get to the gate and then stashing them away until the time is right. Is this fact or theory? Applied psychology, Mr. Nelson. Like I said, you have a problem. Because sooner or later, this buyer is going to try to get those stones out of here. You'll never succeed. I could. But then again, I know my way around. And so do many others on this compound. Even you, Mr. Webb, don't know about some of our newest safeguards. Like that trench that's dug all around the place. with something inside called a pressure strip. Hmm? It's buried six feet under the sand, surrounds the entire compound. It's five miles from the perimeter fence. Now, if you're heavier than a sand fly, across that strip, you're gonna have security guards coming out of your ass. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to do a little dieting. Hey, Chilton? Major Chilton. What else do we know about it? Only that it works. I'm waiting on some more information now. And the entire desert is littered with buried G-phones, seismic detectors. Okay, keep an eye open for the antenna. What about radar? Both long and short range. So we can only go in so far by Jeep. We'll have to walk the rest of the ways. Now, each watchtower has a beam, scans in an arc. If it hits something, they'll know you're there. Hey, I don't know why you call us. You need the invisible man. Yeah, well, I wish we had one, Papa. Now, the radar does have one fail spot, though. The sand dune, it's eight feet high. And it blocks the scanner for a distance of 10 yards, and that gentleman is our only point of entry. So we just tiptoe past all these G-phones, evade air patrols, ground patrols, pressure strips, radar beams. It's a comforting thought to know that we do have a point of entry. Nobody offered you 20 grand each to go on a picnic, Chilton. You're here to pick up diamonds, and don't you forget it. Now, if any of you think you can be earning more money someplace else, now's the time to get off the pot. Take it easy, Governor. No one's griping. But without inside help, we may as well take our kill pills now. Don't worry, there'll be inside help. Who is he? Well, let's just call him Santa Claus. Well, what if we don't believe in Santa Claus? I'm sure we'd all be very relieved to know who he is. When the time is right, Mr. Chilton, he'll come sliding down your chimney. It could be any of your personnel. Foremen, caterers, doctors. Could be you, Chambers, or Nelson. No one's in the clear until this buyer is found. If he exists, I'll find him. Well, you'd better, Mr. Nelson. Your job here may depend on it. Gentlemen. Bradley, sir, reporting for security check. You know the procedure, Ms. Chambers? Remove your clothes. Miss me? A little. For all three months. Correction. Three months, two weeks, four days, and seven hours. Mmm. Mmm. Where was that fabulous face immortalized this time? It's in Paris, Rome, Athens. Sent you a card from Athens. Having a wonderful time. Wish you were here. It's a lie. You didn't wish I was there? 
I didn't have a good time. I never have a good time with Oxy. Never have it. Mm. Honey, you're going to get all dry sitting out there. back out the desert? I was born in the desert, Mike. My mother spent her whole life here with my father. She was very happy. Yes, well, your mother. Well, your mother didn't have her picture plastered all over magazines worldwide. I mean, who is my competition, David? I didn't know you had these. That's just part of my collection. Why didn't you want me to know? Pride? What did you think I'd take it as a weakness? Or maybe even a commitment? Claire, we've got a great thing. We see each other six or seven times a year. We can make love, we have fun, we play games. But you don't live here. After three months, you'd be climbing the walls. And after six months, well, I'd come home for patrol one morning, and you'd be gone. I couldn't go for that. Second short of six. Thought you said this was important. It is. You don't think I would have interrupted your rest if it wasn't. Get in. I 
take it that you want a little privacy. I don't believe in letting the fox see who's setting the trap. Do you know who the fox is? No, but you're going to find him for me. Well, I'm glad you have such confidence in me. One of my contacts reported some new characters in Sandhawk. Claim to be mining engineers. They even have a license to prospect the Great Rift for copper. Copper? Copper. Oh, terrific. So far, only three have been identified. John Lewis, retired army major. Edward Woods, ex-British army sergeant. And Paul Adams, mechanic, former American Air Force. All three of them operated in the Congo and Vietnam as mercenaries. And I don't think they're here for rest and relaxation. I have a feeling my fox has hired them to get his diamonds out. Even if they had a small army of mercenaries, Ian, they couldn't hit the camp. You know that. They could, with your help. And that's exactly what I want. My help? Recognize it? Except for size, they all look the same to me. This one's a little nicer shape. For a few minutes today, that belonged to Pop Keller. About $80,000 worth. I want you to steal it. Steal it? I want you to smuggle it out and go to ground. A security man on the run, you'd be irresistible bait. You seriously want me to lead them in? I'm asking you to finger the fox for me, Mike. I think the desert's finally gotten to you, Ian. But you find it interesting, huh? The excitement, uh, the challenge. I find it dangerous and foolish. Once they were convinced you stole it, they come looking for you. But what if they don't? What if you're all wrong? What have you got to lose? Oh, my job, my life, my subscription to Time magazine. Well, I can see the life might be a bit sticky. But Thanks. As for your job, you can always fall back on me. You're simply following my orders. Well, why do I have to actually steal it? Why don't you just stick the word out that I did it? Because they're mercenaries, Mike, not idiots. It must look real in every detail. Besides, I don't want anyone else but us to know about this. How about Webb? Especially not Webb. Your only contact on the outside will be an informant of mine by the name of Danny at the safari bar. Danny? Well? Well, how long do I have to think about it? I'll take as long as you like. But the faster you decide, the quicker I'll drive you back to what's waiting for you in your bungalow. Take your time. You sure do know how to charm the pants off a fella, Ian. for a drink at the Contiki. I was hoping you'd offer me something more than that. <laughs> There's never enough time for that. You know, I come back from patrol, and I find you stepping in my shower. And that same afternoon, I find you stepping on a plane. That's not very fair, Claire. Well, we had a chance once. Well, then you. <laughs> I'm not to answer that question. I didn't think you would. Would you step inside a minute, sir? Bradley, security. Yes, but Mr. Roberts would like a word first. You too, miss. What's going on? Obviously, practice makes perfect. From today, everyone gets it. Well, that can include her. Sorry, Mike. They're not my orders. Hmm. Hannah. Have fun. You too, big honey. Well, let's put the event. Hi, Mike. Doc. Well, take your pick. <laughs> okay, strip, Mike. Strip? Strip. Never thought I'd be a strip miner. Sit down, Mike. Mm. Say on. Ah. Uh. 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 
Uh, lift your tongue? Uh -huh. Gold fillings better still be there, Doc. On the bed. Yeah. Swallow that? But I ate all my vegetables, Dad. Go on, swallow it. Diamonds or rubies or gold nuggets, huh? Not yet. Drop your pants. Terrific. That one went down. Guess what direction this goes? As long as I don't get addicted to it. Why, Rattle, why don't you give me a new paint job? I could sure use that drink. Did you see last tango in Paris? This? No, no, the one at the end there. This? Yes. Seventy rand for a real diamond? So a two pass. I'll take it. I'll wrap it. Oh no, that's not necessary. Thank you. Yeah. You deserted me. No, I had an appointment with my jeweler. A little going away present. Beautiful. <laughs> well, if you like imitations. Oh, I love imitations. Especially when it's coming from the real thing. Damn it, I'm going to miss you. But think of all the beautiful places you get to miss me from. I'm sorry. I'm going to miss you, too. I always do. You know that. What are they doing here? I don't know, but I have a feeling we'll find out. Bradley, Mr. Webb, and we have reason to believe that you're stolen a diamond from the Syndicated Diamond Corporation. <laughs> Mr. Webb, I'm a security officer, not a magician. As far as I'm concerned, you're a thief. Well, you better have some pretty good proof of that, mister. Miss Chambers, where'd you get that necklace? I gave it to her. But it's just a silver topaz. You got it out there. Silver topaz. It's very modest of you, Mr. Bradley. Robert? Please, Mike. Don't just make a scene here. <laughs> like that tip you got was right. Yes. And you have no idea who phoned it in? No, sir. I told you, when I tried asking you who it was, he hung up. All right, you uh, call the authorities, cover the roads and the airport. Right. What about the girl? Bring her along.
I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to come with me. Mike. He got away. Go find him, Woody, before they do. What time does Danny get here? Never before dark. Bradley, what do you want? I want to be your friend. I've already got a friend. Mm -hmm. I think you need another one. Let's go. You bet. Welcome to the club, Mr. Bradley. Oh, that's funny. I don't recall applying for membership. Well, let's just say you were drafted. <laughs> well, let's just say I was pressed in the service. Look here, friend. I've never belonged to a club in my life. So yours better have a lot to offer. Well, I think it does. $20,000 for just a few hours' work. And for you, Mr. Bradley, I'll even throw in a bonus. You now very much need a way out of here. I'll help you find it. What do I have to do? Just help get us inside that fence without being detected, and then back out again. How far is out? You'll know that when you decide to join us. In that case, I've already decided. And the answer is no. I don't jump into things without knowing all the risks up front. Thank you very much for the invitation, gentlemen. But I prefer to join the Girl Scouts. Bradley, one word for me and you'll never make that door. You need my help too much to give that word, mister. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone to all this trouble. Bye-bye, girls. Cool it. You can't let him leave here. I said cool it. Now, go read your poetry. You know, you're right, Mr. Bradley. I need you as much as you need me. But you try anything funny, and I'll let our noble friend here cut you to ribbons. Okay. How far is out? We're headed for Welvis Point. The boat's going to pick us up there. When? Tomorrow. Sunday? Less people around the compound, right? Why don't you give them a bit more information while you're about it? Yeah, I don't trust security men, even if they are ex. Shut up, both of you. You tell me something. How wide is that pressure strip? You're pretty well informed, aren't you? I asked you a question. Well, let's just say it's jumpable. Oh, terrific. I got trophies for jumping. If you're not carrying any metal... What the hell does that mean? What confuses you about that? Guns, knives, coins, watches, rings, even the nails in your boots will set off a red alert. You've really picked yourself a big job this time. Like hell! Go in there unarmed! What kind of a scene's that? How are we supposed to cut through that fence without any wire cutters? <laughs> You're gonna need a hell of a lot more than wire cutters to get through that fence. It carries a thousand volts. Yeah, a thousand volts? Relax, man. It's all being handled. I think you're all raving bloody mad. You've said enough just now to jeopardize the entire operation. The moment he gets out to that door, he'll go to the nearest policeman. Sure, sure, with every cop in town looking for him. All right, let's hear from him then. Yeah, man, say something. Well, Bradley. I'll need some time to think about it. I'll give you until midnight. Where do we make contact? At the Safari. Hopper, drive him back to town. Chill can go with him. Come on, Bradley. Don't do anything to make my boys nervous, will you? Well, as long as... What's your name? Chilton. Major Chilton. As long as Major Chilton doesn't start reciting poetry to him.
Yeah. You're drinking alone. What do you want about Danny a drink? Danny? Short for Danielle. Didn't Nelson tell you? I would have been much easier to convince if he had. Uh, one for Danny. Well, what do you think? I think this job might have its compensations. I'll buy. Do I pay now? Later. Where do we go? Just down the street. How much is it? 20 rands, but you don't have to. Don't worry about it. It's company money, honey. Stay by that window. For exhibitions, I charge more. I'll see that you get it. This isn't doing me any good at all. Yeah, well, think of the money you're saving. Oh! Is this a private line, or does it work through a switchboard? Uh, it's private. Good. Thanks. Oh, uh, why don't you put something on? Never had that request before. First time for everything. Now call Nelson as soon as I leave here. And listen carefully. Tell him it's Lewis and four others. L plus four. Tomorrow, Sunday. I don't know the time yet, but I'll find out. The important thing is that there's a boat off Walvis Point. W P. Enough? Sure, Walvis Point. Okay. That means uh, they'll eventually be making a break for it down the coast road, so he should concentrate the patrols in that area. Got that? Sure. All right, good girl. Tell him I'll be in touch. You still have 20 rands worth coming. Credit me. You get back to Lewis. I'll cover this end of the operation. Just make sure you don't talk too much while you're covering it. Nelson, Danielle. Go ahead. Yep. Yes, I've got that. Okay. He'll keep in touch with you. I have to go now. Someone's at the door. Bye. Just a minute. Yes? A friend of mine told me I'd find a welcome here. 20 rand, one time. That sounds very reasonable. My name is Barnes. Oh, yes, of course. <coughs> now you won't make a noise, will you? You'll be a good girl. Promise. There's no money here. I don't take money from whores. Tell me about your last customer. I picked him up in a bar. By arrangement, of course. No, I never saw him before. No. Please, what do you want? I want you to call Mr. Nelson. Tell him that Bradley wants to see him urgently here at the Cosmopolitan Hotel.
got yourself a new member. You just made a wise decision, friend. Get in. Lost a very average whore, Mr. Nelson. It is Mr. Nelson, isn't it? Who are you? Well, let's just say I'm a rather dissatisfied customer. <laughs> Nelson is dead. was found alongside that of a prostitute early this morning. I don't understand. Well, say not to understand, Chambers. I mean, Nelson, along with this Danielle, as she was called, was in with Bradley on the diamond theft. Nelson knew that Bradley would eventually be caught. So in order to save face, he killed himself and the girl. You don't believe that. When fingerprints were found on the knife. In another matter, a man answering Bradley's description was seen leaving the hotel earlier that evening. But still no proof. All the proof I need. And I'll tell you something else, Chambers. I think they've stolen diamonds before. And I think that someone very close to Bradley, and to yourself, was used to smuggle them out of the country. You're not suggesting my daughter? How dare you? I dare, Chambers. My daughter has nothing to do with this. You've no right keeping her here. Your daughter was caught with a diamond around her neck. That gives me the right to detain her for questioning or to turn her over to the police. Tell me something, Chambers. Which would you prefer? Where were you when they gave out feelings, Mr. Webb? Probably out chasing a diamond thief. Give me Mr. Roberts. All right, everybody down. Those hard as driver mechanics, one step forward. That all of you? All right. Now, we're going to give you three things, none of which you probably want. A medical, some new uniforms, not too new, and your work assignments. And you'll get all three in the building behind me. So jump to it. Next, electrician. All men signed for electrical work, one step forward. I've heard about Mr. Nelson, sir. It's hard to believe. Well, you give yourself a few years, Mr. Roberts, and you'll find it easy to believe. Sit down. Now, what do you know about security around here? Quite a bit. I, I used to stand in for Bradley when he went on leave. You know enough to be my deputy until I fly somebody in from Dakar? I think so, sir. You think so? Yes, I'm sure. Good, you just got yourself a promotion. And this note was found in Nelson's desk, something about a boat at Warbus Point. Do you know anything about that? No, sir. Only that Mr. Nelson ordered me to step up coastal patrols beginning today. Any reason? No, I thought maybe he suspected somebody was going to try and land. Through our coastal radar. Not even a fish could do that. Unless, of course, there's a boat out at sea, ready to rush in and pick somebody up. Have you stepped up patrol? I do 600 hours, sir. Will you put everybody on red alert? Right away. Roberts. Sir? If you were planning to raid the mine, how would you come in? I suppose there are many ways to approach it. No, just one. And I want to find out which one it is.
I come in? Send the spider for the fly. I'm afraid I owe you an apology, Miss Chambers. I wish it was more than words Secretary were to put it. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Look, it's just my job. I mean, you have your work to do and I have mine, but I promise you I'm no more or no less conscientious than you would be. You're a model, aren't you? Yes. Well, I've, I've seen your pictures in magazines. And I do read magazines. Once in a while I go to the movies, an occasional play. Next to you, telling me you have a family. No, I'm afraid I'm not that fortunate. We just think how fortunate you made someone else. Oh, sorry, that was uncalled for. Yes, well, you know, I'm afraid that you and I have been saying these uncalled for things to each other lately. What do you say we call it a truce? What are you looking for, Mr. Webb? Confession? Oh, no, no, I'm convinced that you had nothing to do with stealing that diamond. Does that mean I can go? <laughs> Wait, I'll have somebody drive you to the airport. After you answer a few questions. About what? You know, I got a hunch that Bradley's going to work himself into the compound again. You know, to pick up some diamonds that he or somebody else have stashed here. You know anything about that? Nothing. Hmm. I mean, he never mentioned it. Not even the slightest tent, even when you and he were, uh... When we were what? Intimate. We talked about other things. Oh, not at all. Of course. How is Bradley to come back in here, Claire? I told you I don't know anything about it. I think you do. Let me tell you something. You know, I think we all have a, a button deep down inside us. And all one has to do is find it and push it. And it opens all the doors, letting our passions locked up deep inside us. You know something, Claire? I think I've got yours. And I can push it and do things to you. Do things to you that Bradley would never dream of doing. Take my word for it, Ms. Chambers, even without your help. The next time you see Bradley, he'll be dead. Ground Patrol use fire light machine guns. The guards have M16s. They know how to use them? They can take your head off for 200 yards. Some bearded general in Guatemala once told me the same thing. He wiped out his whole company in five minutes flat. Right, Woody? Right. Piece of cake, that was. We are now exactly two and a half miles from the first ground phones and radar belts. Right. OK, we pull off. It's right over that ridge. You're the tour guide. All right. From now on, a single file behind me. You may not be able to spot them, but the ground phones are everywhere. Take my word for it. So walk softly. And there's no talking unless it's absolutely necessary. Any questions? Yes. Perhaps you'd care to wipe our noses for us as well. Kiss my ass, children. <laughs>
everything checks out. Uh, you know, maybe I better take it out for a test run. Maybe you could tell me. What are you doing around here? Well, you know, it's been giving them some problems, so they asked me to take it out, drive it around, you know? I think I know what's wrong with it. Ah, look at that, the filter. See, they never change these things. Say, is it all right if I leave it here? You know why I go get another one? Doesn't look as if you have much choice. Uh, unless you want to push it. <laughs> <laughs> Patrol. There's a plus five hotspot nearly below us, three o'clock. If I see anything. Me neither. You think they saw us? I don't know. What went wrong? Choppers carry heat detectors. They may have picked up our body heat. Why in the hell didn't you warn us about that? Forget it. They didn't see us. Probably just some hot bedrock. Something like that. Yeah. So with web around, perhaps we'd better take a closer look. Yeah. You're probably right. <sighs> they saw us. Wait a second. You wait a second. When it comes to my life or someone else's, there's nothing to discuss.
Over there. Where? Lovely, boys. We're still in business. I joined you for a raid, not a massacre. When we get out of here, you can take it up with your union. We're wasting enough time, let's all ask. Diamonds? If you ask me, Webb's off his rocket. No comment. Bradley isn't. She's quite a bird, that Claire. What's that? I'm not sure. We're near the pressure strip. How near? Close enough to lose the hardware. Everybody stays behind you till I locate it. Dig. Metal check? It's all done. Right. That line is a jumping point. Five feet beyond that, everything's fine. Anything less, and all hell will break loose. Hold it. Now what's he up to? Pass him out. Gash, Mars. Where did Santa stash those diamonds anyway? We're not picking up any stashed diamonds. We're gonna hit the vaults. The vaults? That's right, for over $20 million in diamonds. 20 million? Hold on. How come he knew about this and we didn't? Because he planned it all, friend. He what? For over two long years. Now pack those masks. Your Santa Claus? You bet. 
Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. Why were we told about this? Because you talk too much. Balls, if you think I'm going to break that bolt for a mere 20,000, no you're mistaken. Quiet! All right, 100,000 each. We made a deal, Brad. We have less than an hour to get to that vault, and it can only be opened within a 15-second interval starting at 1,800 hours. After that, nothing short of a nuclear explosion will even budge that door. Now, do you still want to argue about price? I think Brad's good enough for me. Yeah, he too. Well, just what else have you neglected to tell us? The boat at Walvis Point? Strictly a red herring. A plane's picking us up in the desert. Now, let's move it. Hold it. What about ours? Not till we get inside. Two killings are enough. Four. Counting Nelson and Danielle. You killed Nelson? Well, let's put it this way. I arranged it. So you wouldn't have an alibi if this thing fails. Like being able to tell the authorities that you were acting undercover to draw us out. They didn't have to die, Lewis. Your insurance policy's been canceled, Mr. Bradley. That's why I trust you so much. We're behind schedule, aren't we? Uh-huh. All right. Arrow points to map reference 192 at 315. That's the railroad track, 30 miles northwest of here. Is there a road leading to it? Not much of one, but it could be managed. Wait a minute, this stretch of terrain here would probably be the easiest to cross. The sand is more compact here, fewer dunes, even less wind. This here, 219 to 105. Walvis Point. Walvis Point. In one way, out the other. I'll get a patrol together and head him off, sir. Yeah, I'll go with you. Sir? Personal reasons. The Sand Hill. That's it. The radar fail spot. From here on, we crawl. What do you think you're doing? Oh, man, you scared me. Oh, I'm from Electrical. You know there's a short and high voltage fence. No one told me anything about it. Show me your work order. Oh, sure, man. Hey, back on, man. I'm allergic. I don't see him. Come on, Bopper, where are you? There. There he is.
Nice work, Bopper. Any trouble? Not that I could handle. Okay. Quick way to the diamond. The vault. You guys know what to do. Get it done. The vault. You're going to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Get the vehicle. Sure, man. Okay. Fill him in, buddy. Move it. Substations on fire. Can we set up with the emergency equipment? Mm. Pasadena who only drove it on Sundays. Take your word for it. Hey, Bradley, thanks for the hundred grand. You bet. to Delta One, do you read me? Base to Delta One, do you read me? We read you. What's the problem? The substation's on fire. All hell's broken loose. Please. Turn the men around. Sir? Move. Where to keep the big stuff, huh?
Hit it. All right. No, oh, man, they're not your diamonds. wrong. Webb must have changed the combination. Nerve gas. Well, I hit the wrong number. Nerve gas? Where's your mask? The drawer. Get it for him, Woods. He can always pray. Get his damn mask. What the hell are we doing now? We got less than two minutes to open that damn door. How? If anyone spots that generator, we're trapped in here. What the hell are you doing? The locking device sends out a signal to the computer. If there's any trouble, the computer activates the nerve gas. If I can pick up that signal, this will give me the new combination. Can't you hurry it up? Less than 30 seconds. Come on! Fifteen seconds! That's it. The war is started. Come on, let's go to work. Watch the guard. Stay back.
you go. Forgot something. What? My woman. Are you out of your friggin' mind? <laughs> you bet. Where on earth do you get your license? I want it in the crowd game. Damn it, Bradley, she's just gonna slow us up. Well, you go on ahead. Huh? Asshole. Baby, quick. Hurry. Come on. What's going on? Everything. Just trust me. I do. For Christ's sake, get in. I'm getting out of here with you. Get out! Ah, oh, my leg! Wait! Ah! Because of that plane, we hadn't stopped for her. Oh, damn it, Lewis. Hey, if it went for her, I might not be here. That's right. <laughs> oh, man, now they're just stop being nice, guy. Get down, Claire. Nice of them. Nice little land rover. Get those 
diamond. Dead is dead, Bradley. That plane isn't going to wait forever. Take a break. I'm okay. Take a break. Christ. Come on, Bradley. We haven't got time for a picnic. You want her, you carry her. Well, why don't you go on without us? We'll meet you there. <laughs> yeah, sure you'd like that, wouldn't you? Leave you here with the diamonds. Well, if it makes you feel better, take the diamonds with you. Go on, Lewis. I trust you. See you at the plane. Now, without this, you won't. Because without this compass, you'll wander around in circles until you drop. Why don't you take a load off your feet, Lewis? You know something, Bradley? You're either the horniest jerk I've ever met, or you're the dumbest. There's four good men back there trying to get this stuff out, and you're going to screw it all up because of her. I pushed the mine because of her, Lewis. Knock it off. You knock it off. Shit. Just two lumps of this sugar, you can get all the ass in the world. <laughs> Like I said, Lewis, knock it off. Ground patrol, they're making for the dunes. Head them off. should bring us in the neighborhood of $8 million. Hmm. That's not a bad neighborhood to live in. <laughs> Bradley. Think they've seen us? You can bet on it. Up there. This ridge should give us some protection. We'll need a hell of a lot more in this ridge. Okay, stay down, baby. Now, if anything should happen, tell them we force you to come. Like a hostage, you know? I'll have to believe you. Well, 
tell a friend, here they come. could ask them to give up, Mr. Webb. We could, but I don't think they'd hear us. Fire. Fire. Landed near here. Spotted us on the way in. Can you get to that jeep? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right.
Right now, I could fly a rock. Go on, run for it! Hey! Turn in the first switch on your right on the overhead panel and hit the fuel switch on the dash. It's the only red one. Well, what about you? I'll be there now. Run for it! I don't know. without seeing. <laughs> <laughs>